Hallelujah. He had a covenant with Israel. And he loves you. Hallelujah. He had a covenant with Israel. And he said, even though you will abandon me, I will never leave you. Even though you were to leave Jesus. He will look for you. He will find you in the bar. He will find you smoking weed. He will find you as a prostitute. He will find you every mountain, every hall, every pit that you find yourself in. Jesus will join you. The delay of Jesus is not that he has abandoned you, but he's waiting for the fulfillment of all that he has purposed for you. When Jesus, he loves you. Hallelujah. He had a covenant with Israel. And he said, even though you will abandon me, I will never leave you. Even though you were to leave Jesus, he will look for you. He will find you in the bar. He will find you smoking weed. He will find you as a He'll find you every mountain, every hall, every pit that you find yourself in. Jesus will join you. The delay of Jesus is not that he has abandoned you, but he's waiting for the fulfillment of all that he has purposed for you. When Jesus Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. My brother, do not confuse the season. Jesus is saying now. You're talking about tomorrow, Jesus is talking about now. You're thinking next year, Jesus is saying now.
Mighty God, we thank you. All the glory belongs to you. We lift you alone. We thank you for this mountain where we stand. You said that upon that mountain I'll give you a feast. We thank you for the celebration on this mountain. Causing us to forget the past. Leading us into a new life, a new history. Leading our hearts to where you pass purposed us to be. Leading us by the still waters in green pastures. You are amazingly awesome. You are great father and we thank you that you are here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. You may take your seats. May God bless you. This is another wonderful evening. We have been blessed to be in the presence of God. We thank all of you who have come, as Pastor Richard said it. Those who have come to join us. And those who visited us and our Vice Mayor, God bless you. And everyone else who is here, we thank you. This is the second day to receive what God kept for you. Amen. Amen. Repeat, I'm here to receive. And you will receive. You will receive. We thank everyone who is following us across the globe on different platforms. Praise be to God. Let's wave unto the Lord. Now was a now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary, and her sister Martha. Maria uwo niwe wasizu mami yesa mafta kubirenge akabi hanaguzu musatiwe. Musaza uwo ni Lazaro wa hundi waruguai. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sister sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. Yes, when he heard this, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory, so that God's Son may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister, that is Mary, and Lazarus. So when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. And then he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. But Rabbi, they said, a short while ago, the Jews there tried to stone you, and yet you're going back? Verse 11. After he had said this, he went on to tell them, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I'm going there to wake him up. Abigishwa ramubwira bati data bujya nibasinziriye hazakira 
his, his disciples replied, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get better. Yamara Yesu yavuga gibyurufu rwa Lazaro ariko bagatekereza yuko avuze gusinzira ku bitotsi Jesus had been speaking of his death but his disciples thought he meant natural sleep Yesu niko kuberurira ati Lazaro yarapfuye So then he told them plainly Lazarus is dead Rekambendeke yanga histoire murayiza ya makuru murayazi It's a long story but let me stop here Umwakushize Last year I had gone with some people to Israel. The first group returned home and I stayed with a group of business people who had also come for the tour. When we reached in Israel, the first group had many different people and they returned home. Ariko nayo nateguye urundi rugendo rw'abacuruzi batandukanye nabo kuza kureba ibyiza Imana ikorera muri Israel eh, no kuba no kuba huza nibigo bitandukanye But I had prepared another trip for business people to visit different parts of Israel and even connect them to different institutions organizations or businesses Ariko babona no mwanya wo kuzenguruka hirya no hino kureba ibyiza by'icyo gihugu nahantu eh, hamateka ya Bibiliya but they also go to visit different sites, biblical sites in the country. One of the places I love to take them, though at the time it was difficult, it was in Bethany. 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 Bethany where Mary and Martha lived. I started visiting Israel in 1998. Besides the COVID years, I would visit Israel every year. The first place, the first time I went to visit Israel, the first place I went was where Mary and Martha lived. Because their house, they, they lived in stone houses, not like the houses of today. The tomb of Lazarus wasn't far from their house. Hagati inzu ya Maria na na Martha ni ngao bari mfuza wa bakobwa eh ba ba rafushije ababyeyi. It seems like these siblings were orphans with no parents. Mukuru wa Martha sagano wareberera umuryango. And it seems like Martha was the head of the household. Then Mary. Lazarus was the youngest. But he was a young man who loved Jesus. Jesus going to Galilee all the way from Jerusalem, he would have a stop in Bethany and spend the night in their home. Jerusalem is close to Bethany. Jerusalem is close to Bethany. When you hear of Mount of Jerusalem to the temple, the other side that is not facing Jerusalem is the side heading to Bethany. At the top of this mountain, just behind it, they call it Bethphag. That's where they release the young donkeys. So as you're heading down, you will go to Bethany. In Bethany, Lazarus tomb is still there to this day. 
when you're entering the tomb because the land has moved you have to go deep to see the tomb and you'll take steps down and you'll get where Lazarus was. So when you're climbing from Lazarus' tomb, you're literally climbing to the top of the mountain. Which means, so it means that the houses of that time had fallen inside. When I went to visit in 98, there is something I didn't see this time, but I saw it last time when I visited. Because you could see the house of Mary, the house of Mary and Martha. Between their house and the tomb of Lazarus, there was a tree. The person who was taking me there, showing me the place, they told me, guess which tree is this? I say, it's a fig tree. And they said, no, it's not a fig tree. Guess again. Is it a vine? He said no. We don't have vines here. For guess again. Is it an olive tree? As they said no. Olive trees don't look like this. I said I'm curious. Please stop asking me to guess. They told me go and take the fruits. They were, they were small and tight. And anyway, I took the fruits. And the fruits were as if they were closed. They asked me to open them. I started peeling as if it's peeling a uh, an onion. When I looked inside, I saw small, small, small seeds. And they asked me, what is this? I said, this is a mustard seed. I said, yes, you're right. But they were very tiny. Very tiny. Like dust. And they told me here is where faith grew in the life of Martha and Mary. So this tree you see has a great significance. Where you read that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, it will work miracles. I looked at the mustard seeds. And I took as many seeds as I could. I brought the mustard seeds. But the people I gave those seeds didn't know the value. And I would tell them, I've brought you a gift. And they would ask, what gift? A mustard seed. Is this a gift? They would look at the size. They were very tiny. And they would say, I thought you would bring me a t-shirt written on Nazareth. And another one said, I thought you would bring me the lampstand. And I found that people do not pay attention to faith. Because faith is not visible. Faith speaks about the future. But the nature of man 
is really asking for what is happening Fatika. today. What is tangible? What moves? But if you tell them faith, they think you're just there to encourage them. We didn't come to encourage you. We've come to tell you that a mustard seed still works. The second opportunity moves hand in hand with faith and what you believe for God will do it. The story in Bethany, I just... Jesus, the one you love, has no food. Jesus, the one you love, did not have lunch. The, wo the one you love has no school fees. The one you love doesn't know how they will pay rent this month. Jesus, the one you love, has no children. Jesus, the one you love, has been rejected by their family and the community. Benedict, brethren, verse now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he got this message, he did not respond. He just spent two more days where he was. Sometimes the one who loves you can delay. You call him and it's as if they don't listen. You're going through a season that seems like God is not hearing you. It looks like God has gone on the side. When he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. How can they tell you that the one you love is sick and you tarry for two more days? It was not easy. Why? After those days, the disciples, after those days, he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. Do you know what they said? Do you know what they said? But Rabbi, but Rabbi, they said, a short while ago the Jews there tried to stone you, and yet you are going back. 
The Jews wanted to stone Jesus. They haven't gone anywhere. They are still there. And they are still angry. Two days will not remove. Jesus said, let's go back. Do you know why? It's not just Lazarus. He was going to give them a second chance as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a second chance that God is coming back to give you even though you spent days having abandoned him. There is someone I had led to salvation some years back. And I empowered them, strengthened them in the way of God. Then they went through life challenges. And this person sent me a blood letter. There were like eight accusations. This person said, ever since you came in my life and introduced me to Jesus, you brought me problems. I don't do whatever I want. I faced many battles. Many life challenges. I had friends. When you showed me Jesus, it was well in the first few days. Now I do not have friends. All the Christian friends you showed me talk about it. You have disrupted my life. Now let me tell you the truth. From today, this date, I will sleep without praying. God, you had asked me to pray before I sleep. You have told me to always pray in the night. I will not pray. You told me to read the Bible. I will hide it. I would have burnt it, but I'm afraid. So I'll just hide it. You asked me to fellowship with others. I am never coming back for service. It was a bloody letter. And this person said, do not visit me. Even Jesus, I have told him I don't want to see him. When you need Jesus, he doesn't come. He will randomly show up and I don't want random. If you hear anything happen to me, Know that it is you and Jesus who disappointed my life. When I read the letter, I saw that it was tough. This was an educated person, a, a, an intellectual who followed Jesus, who got saved in an amazing way. I said, Lord, what's going to happen? We didn't have mobile phones at the time. I had to go to his house. But they wrote to me that he didn't want to see me in his house. He didn't want me to visit. I said, what if I go and I find him angry with a knife? What will I do? Another heart told me, first pray. I took time to pray. I took time to pray. I took time to pray. And when I prayed, I felt peace. And the last voice that God told me, God told me, I love him. I love him. So I thought I was dreaming. Because I, I was already angry with him. Because he had insulted me, yet I hadn't done anything to him. And I was surprised that Jesus wasn't offended by this man's anger. I thank God that he's not like you or me. 
iyo twamukoshereje akomeza dukunda when we sin against him he keeps loving us iyo twamwivumburiye akomeza dukunda when we rebel he keeps loving us inkuru yaje kugenda neza and the story ended well maze kumenya ko yesa mukunda after knowing that jesus loved him navuga waje kwimubwira i thought i should go and tell him ariko nagiye nangiye kumushaka nsanga naho yarari yarimutse i went to look for where he lived and found that he had moved on the road he was on the street he met someone else on the street and, and this person told him are you hungry said yes I'm hungry can we go to the restaurant and eat he didn't know them I don't have money to pay the bill but yes I'm hungry. Okay, Let's go to the restaurant. I'll pay the bill. They ate. And he paid. And this person asked him where are you and going? And he said I don't know where I'm going. I'm just moving around. Oh. What problem do you have? They had sent him out of the house. And this person was getting ready to get married. They had stopped his work. Contract. Everything was stuck. The wedding was about to happen. And the bride had also told him, let's stop this relationship. Once she knew that he was unemployed. He is, his fiance had ended the relationship he had been fired at work and he had been chased from the house because he couldn't pay rent so he wrote the letter to me in that time so he talks to this person in the restaurant and this other person went, went to the washroom and left his money, uh, his, uh, his wallet. His wallet. His wallet. And the paper. Of course, na, na the and the bill where he had paid. And said, I'm coming back. He waited for this person to come back. This person never came back. Waited for this person. They never came back. Waited. They never came back. Mm. Why is he not coming back? What is going on? Let me see. So he removes the wallet and sees a paper. And he wrote all the names, two names, like if he would write all my names. Barbara. Wrote Barbara, for example. I love you. I love you. Go. It was, there were sentences on that piece of paper. Go to the city. This building. You find someone, let's say for example, called Ezekiel. Tell them your name. They will solve all your problems. In the wallet, everything you will find, it is yours. Take it. Mm. This man stood, thought he was dreaming. He took the wallet that God had just left him. When he reached to that building, the same building he had been to, he went asking. He went and found that particular person. And he introduced himself and said, these are my names. I have a piece of note. And I've been given your names. And this person said, it's you. He said, sit down. This night, someone came to see me in a dream and showed me that you would come, that I should solve all your problems. Do you know what they did? They didn't pay the rent. He bought a 
house. This person had been instructed to buy a house in the dream. So let me ask you people in Mutara, if you have a house, will you not have bride until you choose one like Esther was chosen? Nyuma. It was later on. I didn't know what happened. This person looked for me. He didn't know where I was because na, I had And he had moved. When I was preaching on the street in that nation, someone stopped and looked at me. Left his car. Came running. After preaching, he heard me. Said, Jesus is good. Jesus is good. Jesus is good. Jesus is good. Mm. I asked him, isn't it you? I still had the letter. Because I'm a man, I will not just tear it down. But Jesus tore it the moment he wrote it. He said, Jesus is good. I kept the letter and I always thought when I meet him, we will go through each point and we will have a case. But Jesus had solved all his problems and burnt the letter. Hallelujah! 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 That is the Jesus I tell you tonight. He's the one who's given you another chance. You don't love him as much as he loves you. Hallelujah. He had a covenant with Israel. And he said, even though you will abandon me, I will never leave you. Even though you were to leave Jesus, Jesus, he will look for you. He will find you in the bar. He will find you smoking weed. He will find you as a prostitute. He will find you every mountain, every hall, every pit that you find yourself in. Jesus will join you. That delay of Jesus is not that he has abandoned you, but he's waiting for the fulfillment of all that he has purposed for you. When Jesus delays to solve your problem, it is not just because of your problem, it is because he wants to impact even your neighbors through your solution. The disciples tell him, Jesus, they were about to stone you. How are you going back? And he said, we have to go because Lazarus is dead and I need to raise him. The others were scared. But there is someone I love. And he seemed like he was the most complicated character in the group. When you read verse 16, his name was Thomas. You know Thomas? I think you know Thomas. The mustard seed really never reached his life. Until Thomas. Jesus. G Thomas would say, Jesus, visions, dreams. No, I do not believe in that. I need to see it with my own eyes. Now listen to Thomas. Thomas would say, Jesus, visions, dreams. Then Thomas, then Thomas, also known as Didymus, he had a twin, said to the rest of the disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. He convinced the others to go. So they found Jesus. This was the fourth day. Lazarus had died. 
and he had begun to smell they had buried and covered the tomb people were still mourning him the Jewish custom yes the tombs, the Jewish tombs, they would always make sure that they leave a small window at the at the entrance of the tomb. On the fourth day, they would leave According according to the Jewish customs, the, their tombs were always in caves, and when they would make a tomb, they would leave a small window. They believed that a person would die, spend three days, the spirit would be around for three days, and the fourth day they would leave through the window. So when they said that Lazarus had been dead for four days, it meant that his spirit had already left his body. Verse 19. Because and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. These are the same Jews who were ready to stone him. When you have problems, people can still come. Verse 20. Verse 20. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Mary was with the guests. It seems like Martha went to meet Jesus and to warn him that the people who had wanted to stone him were in the house. Jesus, the same people are here in the house. And Lazarus is dead. Maria Mary stayed with them. Martha went to meet Jesus. When she went to meet him, she told him, She said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Do you know what this means? She didn't trust in another opportunity. Things have been messed up in your life. You have accepted the condition. You have shut down. But Jesus has come to tell you that there is still another chance. Repeat, there is another chance. Even though it has all failed, even though it stinks, hmm. he calls the dead to life. Our God is a good God. If you had been here, my brother would not have died. In other words, why are you coming late? It is done. We invited you when he was still sick. You didn't come. It's as if he said, she said, we know who our true friends are. When things were still possible, you couldn't come. Now you have come when all has failed. There's no other way around this. It seems like, it's as if she said, just keep moving because the people who wanted to stone you are here. And Jesus said, Your brother will rise again. But answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. My brother, do not confuse the season. Jesus is saying now. 
You're talking about tomorrow, Jesus is talking about now. You're thinking next year, Jesus is saying now. Stand on the now. The opportunities are now. The miracles are now. Hallelujah. 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 You know what happened? Kuruia mrongo wa mirongo. Itatuni chenda. Verse thirty nine. Jesus said, "Show me where you put him." Mirongo itatuni chenda ngorabo gula mimi mukureho igitari. Thirty nine. Jesus said, "Take away the stone." Ngomare tamushiki wapfuye ramuga tiri kudata wujia arano kagizi misi ne iri jambi misi ne muri teologia ba yuda ni rakome chani. Yes, but she said, "But Lord, the sister said, Martha, the sister of the dead man. By this time, there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Four days meant his soul had departed." Yes, sir. We are going to see now. We are going then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Hallelujah. 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 Verse 43. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. Soka Lazarus. Lazarus, come out. Lazarus, fire. Come out, Lazarus. The Bible says the dead man came out. Azinga zingi we mumienda. His, his hand and feet wrapped in strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Yes, Jesus said to them, take off Lazarus, the rain clothes for him. The solution is the solution. Forty-five. The Jewish people wanted to stone. Those who came to mourn. They put their stones down. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why Jesus delayed. So that even the unbelievers will get saved after your miracle. Jesus delayed to respond so that even the people who cause you problems will meet the power of God. A second opportunity came to the house of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, but even to the whole town, so that those who had wanted to stone him receive him and believe him and never fight him again. I see another opportunity in my life. Come and meet your second opportunity. Amana, 
He knows how your work is not going on well. He knows how your children are difficult. He knows your children are sick. He knows the hunger in your house. He knows that where you're staying, it's a difficult situation. But this evening, listen to me. Listen to me. The, the one the Lord loves. He has come to visit them. Jesus has come to visit the one he loves. He resurrected Lazarus. So he can pay your debt. He raised the dead. Your loan, your mortgage. That money. He will give it to you. He who raised Lazarus. And the, and the thing that has attacked your livestock, Jesus will stop it. This evening, 
ni wewe na we. It is you and Jesus. Uyu Musa bari bategereje ikiriyo cyawe. Today those who were waiting for your death so that they could mourn you. Takiki hari cyane. See your death. Listen. Let them be still like the Jews. Because even if you are to be buried, you will rise again. This evening, a new history is about to be written. This evening, all that was said about your life will become another news. Listen, you will even win the case. So fear not. Let the fear stop. He who loves you has come for you. He who loves you has arrived. Let them understand. Let, let, let him Next year, the barren among you will have children. Do not forget that he will come from the visitation of Jesus. These are children of a second opportunity. Do not forget the names of a second opportunity. Those are the right names. Blessed. Amen. 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 Jesus has come to open all the shut doors. Listen, because of the things Jesus has done, let's clap for him. Raise your hands in this moment. Lord Jesus, I thank you for working. I thank you for answering. I thank you for manifesting yourself. I thank you for your miracles. I thank you for your power. You do beyond. You do great things. You are great. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank you for the miracles you're doing in the lives of your children. Receive. Akira. Receive. Akira. Receive. Akira. Receive. Akira. Receive. Akira. Receive. Akira. Receive. Your miracles have come. Receive it. Your opportunity. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Take hold of Akira. it. Take hold of Akira. it. Receive it. Receive your opportunity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have no children, carry children in the back. If you have a husband and a wife, wear a ring on the ring. If you have a husband and a wife, wear a ring on the ring. If you have no money, touch your pocket. Yeah, hallelujah. 
If you are sick, tell it goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye disease. Bye bye. Goodbye disease. Wa mutura ni muviwe. Bad neighbor. Yibuire wa mutura ni muviwe. Bye bye. Goodbye. Genda. 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 Hallelujah. Hey. Amashuri ugiye gutsinda. You are going to pass in school. Umva. Listen. Zavini zo kuigu kiva girwa uga shaki shukavura fini. Biraragi. Studying and forgetting what you studied ends tonight. Forget about it. Na ugiye kumvu kwa bahanga wa meri. You are going to feel how intelligent people feel. Harabani ba nukirango ba rabifu kanya oya na wa rabifu kanya sata na rabi kuiba no ni mani rabi karuye. Sometimes you feel like people were born with it, but you were also born with it, and Satan stole it from you. But God has restored it. Hmm. Kaga tavi na kayo gavza kunani yebira rangi ye. Smoking and drinking has come to an end. No doubt, Sanga, Mugabo, Wilmusins are Aje, Mugirango, Pasite, Caribu Moons, who are here for Pasite. When your drunk husband comes at home, welcome him and say, My pastor, welcome home. Arazaya sins, Okahora sins. He will come drunk like he normally comes drunk. Mugira, the Pasite, Caribu. But tell them, Pastor, you're welcome. If it's your wife who is drunk, tell her, My pastor, welcome home. If it's your wife who is drunk, tell her, My pastor, Welcome home. Amen. Amen. Because when Jesus comes, fishers of fish will become fishers of men. God is going to use Those who are fetching alcohol, they will fetch the Bible. And God has covered you. Nimbaragaza mahembe ya barozi na bafumu na barangi ziragaze. God has covered you from the attacks of sorcerers. Umva. Listen. We have the 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 it stops tonight. The birds fighting to come into your house have stopped. The, the snakes you were seeing have stopped. Jesus has given you another chance. Receive it. Receive it. This is what's going to happen. When Jesus has given you another opportunity, you change how you walk. You change your friends. You become a friend to Jesus. You have to walk proudly. You don't walk with shame. No shame. You walk confident. Hallelujah! When your life has been changed, you walk confidently. No. No, no one will terrorize you again. You stop this because you are a child of God. You are a priest. You are great. You are great. You are You have the power. You have the power. You have the power. You have the power. You 
demons Demons Abarozi, and sorcerers and those who serve him Bose, all of them they are under your feet and trample over God, God will provide for you when you go home in this week take yourself out and eat something nice sit somewhere Jesus will take you out Jesus will take you out Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Then we take care of yourself. Wambare. Dress up. You know, in in order. Order for chicken. Grill it well. And a banana. Okay. <laughs> And some salad. Hanyuma. And then. We chare ufate kaso da uchiru kuguru kukundi. Sit and cross your legs. Oh, uri murandi kamate kamash. Because you're writing new history. Ikindi. Another thing. Do take a zango muri yisi haruza abiku kore. Don't think anyone else will do it for you in this world. Nava niba di niba di kora izabari nyonge so ubzi kore. Do it for yourself first, and the rest will be added on to you. Because God has restored your life. Let me tell you the truth. No, no one can understand what you feel right now. You will see great things that God will do for you. No one will understand. So take yourself out. Do you have a place to go out? There are places you can take out, take yourself out. Those people are about to have many clients because go and take yourself a drink and water and eat some grilled meat chicken, goats then put on some milk yogurt drink some yogurt milk Ndashima yes I thank Jesus Let's say Ndashimu Musaranga Ndashima
We have a journey back home. But Jesus will move with you. He will spend the night with you. You and him tonight. You and Jesus tonight. It is great joy. It is great joy. This night with Jesus. Let him, let him be, let him be. Let him be. Let him be. Okay. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Brethren. Do you have sick people? Raise your hands and let's pray for them. Do you have anything? If you have a problem. Go and touch them. We will send a prayer to them. And you will touch them with what you have. Or let's send the hand of God where they are. God will bring all the sick people who didn't All who have problems who are not here. The brothers and sisters have raised their hands in faith. Thank you for the miracles you have done. Thank you, Father, for changing their lives. Thank you, Father, for healing them. Let the faith of these people here let it touch them. Send your heart and let it change their lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, May Jesus bless you. And I'm going to release you. If you haven't received Jesus, I ask you please that you, re that you remain here in front. I want to lead you in prayer and you will get saved so that you spend the night with Jesus. Others, let me ask that we go back. Let's clap for Jesus. Remain here if you want to get saved. Remain here. If you want to get saved, let me ask that you remain here. Remain here.
Ride.